Let's take a few minutes and talk about taking your family pictures at the beach. Now, I will say, if you are the one always behind the camera, you need to exist in photos. So finding a family photographer and saving up and purchasing for that session can be really special because you have so many fun elements at the beach between the sand and the water. And while it might be messy, it can be super fun. Here's a few pictures of us at the beach before when we had hired a photographer. It's something that either we do every single year or every couple of years. And there's just nothing more fun than just knowing that you're going in, you're gonna get sandy, you're gonna get wet, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to update that with our daughter, Kaya. Okay, so when you are having your camera with a purpose of taking pictures at the beach, now this is different than when you just want to capture moments. I am a big fan of capturing moments no matter the time of day or harsh lighting conditions. A lot of times, especially at the beach, from 10 to two, when they say that you have the most likely chance of getting burned, the sun is also super, super bright then. So at any cost, if I'm taking an actual portrait that I am kind of going into with the purpose of setting up and we're getting dressed and things like that, I'm avoiding that time. And honestly, even 10 a.m. at the beach is too late for me. I like sunrise when I'm shooting at the beach. And the reason for that is the sun is gonna come up really nicely behind the waterline. And you don't tend to have a lot of time between when it starts coming up to when it is too bright. But if you can get out there at sunrise, even a few minutes before, so you are ready to go when the sun is coming up, the pictures are going to be so nice. The other side of that is that you can shoot at sunset. The sun is just gonna be in a different position, but usually for that time of day, I'm not always shooting with the water line behind me. I'm kind of turned a little bit angled so that I'm getting a little bit of the water, a little bit of the beach, and both of these times a day is usually less crowded, so you're not gonna have to compete with people when you're shooting your pictures. Now. Beyond that, if it's a little bit later than sunrise or a little bit too early to kind of consider sunset, what you're gonna have to look out for is the sand is a natural reflector, which means when the sun is hitting that, it is naturally going to brighten the face a whole lot more than different times of day. So you're gonna have to pay special attention to your settings to make sure your ISO is gonna be a little bit lower, your shutter speed might be a little bit higher, and you might have to kind of really challenge those, especially if you want to keep a lower f-stop. Uh, so that way all of those theory things work together to make the perfect picture.